di such a diversity in terms of personality and, and you know she can be super serious and hardcore and everything's like, whoa it's, it's really heavy and then super light and funny and laughing a minute later it's, like a virgin touch for the very first time <laughs> you know what i mean Boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Blessed to have the skills that I have to make. I'm a song guy, so I know how to make songs be the best. So mm -hmm. I want to make the song the best it can be. So bringing out the elements of the song to just all the the best elements to give it the vibe that it deserves. You know, to come across um, accurately uh, for the artist uh, for the song itself. Um, so that's the way I've always approached it. Um, and yeah, so, but yeah, it's, I've been blessed with that because it's been a very interesting transition. The music business has basically redefined itself, right, mm -hmm. over the years. And exactly. To watch that take place through mm -hmm. the 90s, especially the mid 90s when everything got digital. When, you know, Some people couldn't transition. And and people fell off. And then the then the advent after that of the independent labels right. and the independent artists. Exactly. And the, the, mm -hmm. Yeah, the different roles that the major labels play now. And, so, but okay. So, do you know all of the Marley boys? Yeah. Have you met all of them? Yes. Out of all of the Marley boys, who would you say reminded you the most of Bob? Oh, geez, that's a tough one to answer because they all do in one way or another. I have to say Stephen, really, okay. Stephen Marley. Why? I, I, what is it about him? Just a uh, uh, a raga strength, a, 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 a um, confidence. No cigarette smoke. Right and and sweetness too and just you know very sweet but also very smart right extremely smart and very determined and hardworking and you know really I love the music. and spiritual it's right. a very spiritual okay. thing yeah definitely yeah. okay that's awesome but they all Damien does his thing his way you know, he's, they you know, all are so different and, and so Julian crazy. and yeah. everybody yeah yeah that's crazy so okay so I know that you um when you met Madonna. I heard because someone asked you out of all the people you've ever met, who were you so called starstruck, so to say, over? And you mentioned Madonna. What was um, the thing about Madonna that you were so that you loved the most? And did she actually measure up to all your expectations when you met her? Yeah, and then some. I really? Mean, yeah, she's a powerhouse. She's very smart, mm -hmm. um, and she's very determined. And at the time we were working together, I worked on the remixes for the Erotica album, mm -hmm. uh, early 90s. And she was up for the role in Evita. She, mm -hmm. she wanted that role. And she was mm. studying. She would sit in the studio and with VHS, stacks of VHS tapes, watching Humphrey Bogart movies, 1940s black and white old films, and she would just study them and watch them. And this girl was, she's like, wow. I'm gonna get that role. I'm gonna, and she did, she landed it. Wow. I, was like, I mean, she's wonderful to work with. It's a very quirky and, and just uh, di such a diversity in terms of personality. And, and, you know, she can be super serious and hardcore and everything's like, whoa, it's, it's really heavy and then super light and funny and laughing a minute later. It's, like a virgin touch for the very first time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I get it, you know what I mean? Like, uh, she's one of the ones that, you know, she was able to transcend culture. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was able to cross over and connect with all types of people in all walks of life, which makes her totally, mm -hmm. you know, different than a lot of the artists. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Kind of like she helped a lot. I mean, even I believe Tupac hung out with her. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. she was one that. She she kicked it with everybody, yeah, you Casey know. Casey and JoJo, Casey Jodeci, and JoJo. Yeah. Didn't didn't did Rodman hang out with her? Yes, yes. He was no, over, Rodman. He would come by the studio. Come on, he now, you know studio. Rodman yeah, hung he would, out now. He would come by and hang out with her. And he loves music, and, he's and he very loves creative. women. He loves <laughs> the women, baby. Don't get it <laughs> twisted. And he will wear a dress too. He don't mm -hmm. care. He will wear a dress and get a piercing. That's, that creative. That's my guy. He is weird but artistic. He's from Dallas, Texas. And that's my guy. He would yeah. show up in the studio with you know dozens of roses wow. for, for people. Oh. He was not, yeah. He's at he's a different level, a yeah. different different tier of a guy. You know what I mean? A lot of times people didn't know how to deal with him because he was different. Mm -hmm. And that happens, but look, I mean, 
that's just a part of it, man. How many times have you been in there, man? Do you do you run into stumps where, dang, man, like I can have a like a a moment where you're trying to figure out where to go with the music? Yeah, sometimes there are challenges like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, I know now. Time. No, no, yeah, come on, because yeah. you're trying yeah. to make something great. Yeah, you're and trying it, to make something last yeah. forever. Yeah, and it can come from any source. It could come from the producer. It can come from the artist. It can even come from management or the record label trying to fit it into a certain kind of a box or something. Mm -hmm. You know, so you get these challenges that can come from any direction, right? Yeah, so, and that's that that that's it. that's what it's all about. I got a question because you worked with Whitney's mom. Yeah, let's see. Okay. So, someone mentioned this to me once, and you have to tell me if you think that this could be possible. <laughs> okay? I know what's going this on. This is a hypothetical. This is because so I don't crazy. know if this is true, because according to them, it's true. Okay. Do you believe that Whitney Houston could be Elvis Presley's daughter? Ooh, I've never heard that one. <laughs> I didn't, I've never heard that before. Um, it it was a thing. Know. It was a thing. Because they said that she was the backup um, singer for mm. Elvis Presley before. So you have to look uh, that I didn't up. Know about that? <laughs> yes. But when we were I working on up. Sissy's album, uh -huh. it was a gospel record, right? And she would bring her daughter Whitney. Whitney mm -hmm. and I are about the same age. Yeah. And Whitney would bring her another friend of hers to sing harmonies, backgrounds on Mom's record, and mm -hmm. his—he was a young man by the name of Luther Vandross. Oh. Hey, he was, a, he was amazing. Yeah. Do, do, well, do, I love do, me some. Before Luther. anybody knew this guy, she was bringing him. That's in who I to, put on every time. And the two of them harmonizing. They sound great together. Why did dude sing like that? Could he sing? Did you, oh, you yeah. heard him sing? Just oh, yeah. sing while y'all was standing there. Yeah, oh, yeah. You knew he was gonna be big. Yeah. He had he had that velvety yes voice that just you know had that texture to it you know that tone. Let me hold you tight. If only for one night. So my next question is: Out of all the hits that you've had to work on. Which one was the most difficult for you to do? And how long did it take for you to get it completed? Hold please? on. Remind me one more time. What was it? So, um, the Elvis Presley one? Or? No. Out of all of the um, hits that you've ever oh. created, um, which one was the most difficult to work on? And how long did it take you to do it? Oh, gosh. There's quite a few of those because uh, the, either the record company would send you back in to you know fix that or change this, or the artist would you'd have to go and redo the song 15 times. Mm. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'd have to say one of the biggest ones would have to be Shy Guy. which is mm -hmm. Diana King, Shy mm -hmm. Guy, they sent us back in to do that record over again. Really? For the most ridiculous reasons, like change a word or change a, a chord or uh, things that wouldn't make or break the record, right. not like really change anything. And I think we must have redone that record like five times right. from scratch. Mm -hmm. And I got to the point where I just sent them the first one again. That and we they had accepted done it? After spending... Huge really? amounts of money and huge amounts of stuff. I just sent them the very first one that we did again. He goes, oh, that's it. Ooh, I would have <laughs> just been like, ugh. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.